Hello everybody. I'm going to start off this video by addressing something I have neglected to mention at all about my healthy eating lifestyle. I only have one serving of everything. I follow the nutrition labels and I use a measuring cup and measuring spoons and a food scale and I only have one serving of everything. Like take these almonds for example. They're the flavored ones and I got a comment yesterday saying these are as bad as a candy bar. Yes, if you eat the sit and eat the whole can, which most people would do. But it's 170 calories for 28 almonds. 15 grams of fat for 28 almonds. 120 grams of salt for 28 almonds. And 2 grams of sugar for 28 almonds, which all I eat is 28 almonds. This is a very tiny bowl. And that's it. I count out 28 almonds, and that's all I eat. But most people would grab this and eat the whole thing, which that's not what I do. Or they would grab the big bags of almonds and sit there, open it up, stick their hand in there, and sit there and eat it like it's a bag of chips, mindlessly, without counting servings or anything. And even with the unsalted almonds, that's just as bad. Because if somebody would sit and eat this whole can, which there's six servings in here, it would be 1,020 calories, 90 grams of fat, 720 grams of salt, and 12 grams of sugar. Yes, that's just as bad as a candy bar. But I, that's not what I do. It says 28 almonds, and I eat 28 almonds. That's it. And that's how I am with all the rest of the food, too. I follow the serving sizes, and that's very important. I cannot stay between 1,200 calories and 1,600 calories a day by mindlessly eating whatever. And I use Spark People to track my all my calories, fat, sugar, all that. all the Everything on the nutrition label. And there's a bracket for every one of them, and I stay within that bracket. Carbs, everything. But if I mindlessly eat, it'll be a big failure. So it's okay for me to have flavored almonds because I only eat the one serving, but it would not be okay if I just picked out on the whole can or the whole bag because that's not, not the way you can eat to lose weight. It does not work like that, right? Yeah. How are you feeling? You just woke up. <clears throat> Pretty good. I had a tough time trying to sleep last night. Yeah, I know because we were trying to share that same blanket and sheet. Yeah, and you kept on stealing it from me, so in I went and got my own blanket. I know, I was doing that in my sleep. I had I had no idea, but I'm sorry. I didn't know I was stealing the blanket from you. <laughs> yeah, that's why we, we we always have our own blanket when we go to bed. Yeah. Well, I slept better after you went and got your own blanket, too, because every time you would pull on, on the one blanket, it would wake me up. Yeah. that I've never shared blankets when I went to bed just because of the fact that one person pulls, takes out the other person. Yeah, I know. We're both blanket hogs, so that doesn't work. We each get our own blanket. Yeah. That's where I've heard it even. Yeah. Okay, we're heading to the, to the library in Onaway to print the paper I need to drop off with those VHS tapes to the Sheboygan Walmart for the VHS to digital conversion. And... Hopefully the library is letting people in and hopefully they're letting people use the computers so they can print stuff. I don't know. It's been over a year since I've been in there and I know they kept closing and opening and closing and opening along with the pandemic so we'll have to see what goes on. It's times like this when I just wish we owned a printer, right? Yeah. But. All they sell now is printers that have scanners attached to them, and I don't need that. I just want something that prints. I have a flatbed scanner, right? Yeah. I don't need the whole fax machine scanner, three-in-one printer thing. I just want a simple printer that prints, and that's all it does, and I can't find anything like that anymore. Boo! What? That's it, right? Yeah. <laughs>
right, they were open, it was no problem. I got what I needed to include. And now we have to take it all up to the Sheboygan Walmart. All right, we're home now and Walmart has the VHS tapes and my order paper and it's gonna be three to four weeks before I get an email saying I can pick everything up. So we'll just have to wait. But I kept forgetting for months to buy pickles. So I solved the problem today. Gigantor jar of pickles. And they didn't come sliced, so we'll just slice them ourselves. Here. I told you didn't have to buy them. I had a pickle for you. Oh, shut up. Show them how, uh, pick it up and hold it. Show them how big it is. There. <laughs> that good example? As big as your head. <laughs> but yeah, that should last us a good long time. We're running the self-clean cycle on the oven, so we can't use the oven at all. And I need to make some turkey bacon for dinner, so Don is setting up the Coleman stove. We would normally use it for camping or when there's a power outage, but we're going to use it to make some turkey bacon really quick. And I had some of this for breakfast this morning, and it's really good. Way better than it was back in the 90s when my parents were eating it. It actually tastes like real bacon. But there's no grease and there's no big yucky strip of fat along each piece. So for dinner, we're going to have a veggie chicken sandwich with cheese and bacon. And I'm going to put mustard on mine. Mustard has no calories. And Don can use mayo, but I don't eat mayo anymore. And a very small baked potato and some cauliflower. And that will be dinner. Okay, he's lighting it up. There. Whoa. <laughs> okay. No, that's too much. <laughs> oh, I know. You gotta let it warm up. Oh. <laughs> Better run about 15, 20 seconds or so, and then I'll flip this lever down. All right. All right. I'm just saying, oh, okay, I see what you're doing. Adjust your heat by this knob here. Okay. Well, you only want one burner, but if you ever do decide to run the other burner, the knob's over here for the second burner. Okay. So, there we go. Now we have a burner for me to make the turkey bacon without interrupting the self clean cycle of the actual oven. And the turkey bacon is in there, and then all I have to do is let it brown to the desired amount, and it'll be all set. And it is 25 calories per slice of bacon. And we're going to have two on each of our chicken sandwiches. So that's not too bad at all. Not like real bacon. There, the bacon is all done. It didn't take very long, and that's the way I like it. It's crunchy. But not burned. I mean, there's a couple. You gotta watch really close. You can burn it really easy. But they came out pretty good and pretty fast. And there, now it's finally time to eat the small baked potato and the cauliflower and the chicken sandwich with bacon, cheese, and mustard and turkey bacon. And this is a whole wheat bun. So it'll be really good. And this is what I use for butter which it has zeros, all zeros. I've been using this since the beginning of 2014. So I don't eat butter margarine or oil of any kind. So this is what I use. So that sandwich was incredibly good and it tasted just like real bacon, but you're not gonna find real bacon for 25 calories a piece. And I'm not a vegetarian, but if I want things like breaded chicken sandwich patties, I have to do it do the veggie ones because the real ones are loaded with fat because they in the factory they run them through the deep fryer once and then they freeze it and then you bring it home and even if you bake it it's still full of that deep fryer grease and I refuse to eat anything that came out of the deep fryer so in Jacob the carpetbaggers Dixie Highway videos when he was here in Michigan 
he was showing family video stores that were here in Michigan downstate that were either out of business or going out of business. And I thought ours up here were doing good, but they're not. It was literally like two days after I saw that video that I found out the one in Alpena is in the process of shutting down. And now today, when we went to Sheboygan to turn in those VHS tapes, guess what? The one in Sheboygan, their sign now says, closing soon, everything must go. And the day before yesterday, it didn't say that. So this is happening very fast. I'm sure the one in Petoskey and the one in Gaylord and all the rest of them are following suit. So that's kind of sad that Family Video is going the way of Blockbuster. It was the only video store chain we had left around here. Now if we want to rent DVDs or Blu-rays or anything, we have to find a red box. And I don't know how long those are going to last either. But I do know there's one of those outside the Onaway Family Dollar. But with things like Netflix and stuff like that, you don't need to be renting DVDs anymore anyway. And you can go on Amazon and all these other places and rent brand new movies. So I understand why they're going away. It's just kind of sad. Yep, sure is. That's why Movie Time Video and Onaway shut down too because... I went there one day and, you know, and he had a bunch of movies up for sale. I goes, what's going on? I goes, why is everything up for sale? He goes, this cost me money out of pocket to keep the place going. Yeah, and that was Nobody's a... Nobody's wanting to rent movies anymore. That was a privately owned one, so it yeah. was even harder on him. Yeah, and he had to pull money out of his own pocket just to keep the place up and going. And he goes, I can't do it. Yeah. He goes, now if it's going to cost me money to keep it up and going, he goes, I'm going to have to shut it down. Yep. And so after he told me that, by the time I was done buying movies, I ended up walking away with $180 worth of movies. I ended up buying in one shot. Wow. <laughs> hey, Tug. We're washing your black rug for you because you got it all full of dog hair. It's in the washing machine. It'll be nice and clean for you in a little while. So that'll be good. Right, Tug? Oh, here comes White Storm. <laughs> so anyway, I guess there isn't much else going on for tonight. We, like I said, we're washing that rug. Don did some shop vac stuff, like cleaning up the salt, the sidewalk salt, because when we got home, White Storm was digging a hole in one of the bags and scattering it all over. So he, Don put it in a bucket, so that can't happen anymore. And he had to shop vac up what White storm got all over the floor, but we're going to go ahead and say good night, and we hope you enjoyed the video, and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Say good night. Say good morning. And we'll see you tomorrow.